Open the S1 Building Section tab. You can see some inconsistencies here. The new slab and the terrace slab overlap. The brick finished skin intersects the insulation mineral hard skin. The pavement slab is placed in the entrance area. The lower part of the wall doesn't need the insulation layer. Let's fix these mistakes. It won't take too much time. Select the terrace slab, right click, and open the composite structures dialog, and increase the insulation fiber hard skin thickness up to 195. The thickness of the gravel skin set to 35, and click OK. Activate the Options, Element Attributes, Building Materials menu command. Change the priority value of insulation fiber hard from 420 to 645. Click OK to close the dialog. By doing this, the insulation of the flat roof will go below the brick skin. Open the zero ground floor plan. Switch on suspend groups and select the inside wall. Using the split command, divide the inside wall using both short walls reference lines. When done, deselect the wall. Go back to the section window and select the internal wall. Open its settings and change the following parameters. Wall top, not linked. Wall height, 4440. Home story, 1 gallery. Bottom offset to home story, minus 240. By clicking OK, apply the changes. Keep the wall selected and activate the drag a copy command. Click any lower node of the wall and move the cursor downwards on the top of the foundation wall. Using the tab key, highlight the home story field in the tracker. From the drop down menu, choose zero ground floor and then click on the top surface of the foundation wall. Click on any topmost node of the new wall and in the pet palette, select the stretch height command and click on the bottom of the upper wall. You can also just type 2860 in the height tracker field and hit enter. Right click and open the composite structures dialog. Press the duplicate button, type the name internal wall, and click OK. Remove the brick finish, white, and insulation mineral hard skins. Press the insert skin button and create the new plaster gypsum skin with the exact same parameters as the existing one. When finished, click OK. Finally, use the info box to apply the new structure for the new internal wall and deselect it. As the last step of these corrections, let's modify the pavement and the internal load bearing slab. Activate the zero ground floor tab and select the load bearing slab. Click on its edge and from the pet palette select the add to polygon command. Switch to the polygonal input method, and using some already familiar commands, enlarge this slab by the contours of the walls. You can click on the necessary nodes first, and then curve the segments according to the curvature of the wall using the pet palette commands.
Now add the pavement slab to the selection. Click on its edge, and in the pet palette, push the Subtract from Polygon button. Then space click on the load bearing slab contour to create the hole under the entrance area in just one step. When finished, hit Escape to deselect both slabs. Open the section view. Select the load bearing slab. and apply the reinforced concrete structural building material. Please note how the connections of the slab and foundation structures have changed. Finally, deselect the element.